Lesson 2-7, Problem Solving, Looking for a Pattern. By the end of this lesson, you're going to be able, you're going to know how to do another problem solving strategy, which is to look for a pattern. Here's the problem that we're going to do today. Laura has been practicing free throws every day after school to get ready for basketball tryouts. She can make three, three free throws out of every five attempts that she makes. How many free throws can Laura make after 30 attempts? Let's see. We're going to apply the RISE method, which R stands for restate, right here. This is our question. How many free throws can Laura make after 30 attempts? That's our question. I'm going to put a little question mark next to it. I. That means we're going to look for the important information. Right here it says that she can make three free throws out of every five attempts. That is our important information. I'm going to label that with a little I for important information. So now we're going to get down to the S step. How are we going to go about solving this problem? Well, since we're going to apply the looking for a pattern pro uh, strategy, one way to go about doing that would be to make a table and to look for some sort of pattern. So I went ahead and I made this little table. Here I have free throws and here I have attempts. So this is how many free throws she makes after how many attempts. And right here from the information part it says she can now make three free throws out of every five attempts. So that means she can make three after five attempts. So let's go up. If she were to make six free throws, because that's twice as many, how many attempts would she have made? So if I double this number to go from three to six, what do we have to do to go from here to here? That would mean that she'd have to do another five attempts, right? So that means that she would have had to do 10 attempts. Well, let's double it again. Well, let's see. Not, we're not going to double it. Let's see if we can find some sort of pattern here. To go from 3 to 6, what did we have to do? We had to add 3. And to go from 5 to 10, we have to add 5. So let's see. If we're looking for the pattern here, the pattern is we're adding 3 free throws every time and we're adding 5 attempts. That means to go to the, the next number of free throws, wouldn't we have to add 3 more throws? So we're going to add 3 here, and 6 plus 3 is 9. And that means we have to add 5 more attempts. So 10 plus 5 is 15. And we're going to keep doing this until we get, to how, we get to 30 attempts, because the question is how many free throws can Laura make after 30 attempts? So I'm going to keep doing this. I'm going to add 3 here. So I'm going to get 12, and I'm going to add three. I'm going to add five down here. So I'm going to get to 20. Then I'm going to add another three up here. So I'm going to get to 15, and I'm going to add another five here to get to 25. Then I'm going to add three more because I'm still not to 30. So I'm going to get to 18. And I'm going to add 5 more here. 25 plus 5 is 30. Hey, that's the one we wanted to get to, right? We wanted to know how many free throws would she make after 30 attempts. Right here. This is our answer. We found the pattern that we're going to add 3 free throws every time. And we're going to add 5 attempts every time. We just did this table out until we got up to 30 attempts. That's our answer. So she would make 18 free throws after 30 attempts. So if I were to examine and explain, I would explain out in words how I made the table and then I added three free throws every time and I added five attempts every time until I got up to 30 attempts. So I would write that all out in words. And if I were to make sure that, if I were to examine my answer to make sure that it made sense, I would go back and I would say, well, three is a little more than half of five, right? So that means she's making a little bit more than half of every one of her attempts. So that means 
half of 30 attempts is 15. And 18 is a little bit more than 15, so that means our answer right here of 18 seems to make sense. And so we would write all of that out in words down here in the examine and explain part. And that is the looking for a pattern strategy for solving problems. Find a pattern, make a table, and extend the pattern out in order to get the results that you're looking for.